What's up guys, this is Bumpkins here with another off-cycle comic haul video. Today I'm going to be looking at some dollar books that I got from my local comic book store over the weekend. And actually a few books that just came in the mail from my buddy Silver Age on Instagram. Uh, they came in today. Today is Monday, the... I don't know what the date is, but... Uh, <laughs> But uh, the 25th, 25th. Um, but they actually came in today. I was gonna make this um, this comic call video about my dollar books, and then I got a nice a nice stack of books from Silver Age as well. So we'll look at those too. But let's look at the dollar books first. So over the weekend, I was uh, I was out in town running a couple errands, and I thought, you know what? While I'm out, let me go run to my shop real quick because the the cool thing, uh, Infinity Flux in Chattanooga, Tennessee, super awesome. I love going there. Um, they do something, they started doing something a couple weeks ago where every Saturday they set out uh, maybe like two or three new boxes of uh, dollar books. You know, their, their dollar back issue section. They put out a new batch uh, every Saturday. They started doing that a couple Saturdays ago. And since I was out on Saturday, I thought, hey, let me swing by and see what they have. So I picked up a stack of dollar issues. And then while I was there, I peeked through their regular back issues as well, and I got some cool stuff there too. So I'm going to show you the dollar books first. So these, I think I got 19 of them, and they were all a dollar, a dollar each. So, and they're just random. Um, sort of no rhyme or reason to most of them. But I started off with Dark Hawk number two. Um, I know there's a lot of buzz around Dark Hawk right now, and everybody's wanting Dark Hawk number one. Well, I picked up, uh, there wasn't a number one, but I picked up number two mainly because I remember this book from when I was a kid in the 90s, and I thought it was cool that Spider-Man was in it. And, uh, you know, I just sort of wanted to relive my childhood a little bit. So I got number two and number three with Spider-Man even bigger on the cover. I remember thinking that was awesome as a kid, and I now have it back. Um, I'm trying to build a run of Iron Man books. I don't know how far back I'm going to go. But I've talked before about my buddy Opie in Kentucky, who uh, searched at his Peddler's Mall. There's a whole booth there at his Peddler's Mall up in Kentucky. Uh, he's picked up a ton of Iron Man for me, uh, mostly in the 200 range, I think. And I'm just working on getting some more of those. So I picked up Iron Man number 188, uh, Iron Man number 229, Iron Man number 253. Iron Man number 256, Iron Man number 278, um, Iron Man number 281, and Iron Man 283. So uh, I think a couple of these may be doubles from the ones that Opie got for me. Um, the only bad thing about him being so far away is that He's got he's got so many for me. I don't I don't remember which ones they are. I just told him any Iron Man that you see, get them. So I think a few of those may be doubles, but at a dollar a piece, uh, it's not a big deal. I wasn't too worried about. Uh, I would rather pay a dollar for a double than to not get it at all and then just still have that hole in my collection. So so I found a copy of Punisher War Journal number six. It looks to be in pretty good shape. This, although I actually have, uh, I knew that I had this already, but I thought for a dollar, I'll get another one. Uh, when I got home, I realized, wait a minute, I already have two. So now this is my third one. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, um, but I was just kind of taken aback that, hey, Punisher War Journal number six, uh, Jim Lee, Wolverine, Punisher, super awesome. I could not get it for a dollar, especially when they also had Punisher War Journal number seven, which I don't have. So uh, this is just like a little two-parter with Punisher and Wolverine with art by Jim Lee. Um, I saw this and thought, yes, definitely, because I know I had number six. Then I saw number six and thought, why not? Let's go ahead and grab another one. So I did. It was a dollar. If it were more than a dollar, I wouldn't have, but it was a dollar. Another one that I picked up, another two, three, the, er, two that I picked up because they were a dollar each. Um, Star-Lord and Kitty Pride number one the action figure variant. So I only got this one because it's the action figure variant. I probably won't ever read it. I'm not really, Star Lord and Kitty Pride doesn't really tickle my fancy, but it's an action figure variant, it was a dollar. So I definitely got that. And then Thor's, plural, number one, with Jane Foster Thor, action figure variant. Again, 
I don't know what Thor's is about. I actually might try this one out, but it was a $1 action figure variant. I could not get it. Kind of on a whim, I picked up uh, Wonder Man number one. I remember this from when I was a kid and uh, thought it was pretty cool. I like the cover art. Um, and you know, I don't think that these are available on the Marvel Unlimited app, except for maybe number one and two. Like there's a couple, unless they've added them recently. So I thought, hey, let's just grab number one for a dollar and uh, let's go ahead and grab number two as well. And when I go back on Wednesday, I might look for a few more. I think they had a few more, not consecutive. I think maybe like four and five and seven and nine or something like that. I don't know. But um, they were all a dollar. So I thought I might just grab these. I always thought Wonder Man was pretty cool, especially this incarnation of Wonder Man. Um, so just, you know, not specs, not keys, nothing like that. I just thought it would be fun, especially since they were a dollar. I picked up X Factor number 52, a uh, Rob Liefeld cover art, not interior art, just on the cover. But I got this one again because it was a dollar. <clears throat> and because I have apparently, I am building a run of X Factor. Uh, of X Factor. So um, I don't know why. I just sort of fell into it. And this is one I didn't have. So for a dollar, I'm going to work on that filler. And for the same sort of reason, uh, I picked up Deathstroke the Terminator number six. I have two through five and number 11 for some reason. I don't know when I got any of them, but I thought, hey, number six, uh, and it's a dollar, and it just sort of continues the ones I have. So who knows, I might start building a run of this. Um, this was sort of a whim. Red Tornado number one from 1985. Uh, so I wanna say this is, um, Pre-crisis? Pre 85. Depends on when in 85, if, whether it's pre or post-crisis. But I kind of always thought Red Tornado was cool, and I actually bought um, a, the, the, a more recent Red Tornado miniseries from the dollar bin uh, last Black Friday. And I just dig the 80s. Uh, I like DC in the 80s, and Red Tornado is pretty cool, and yeah. It was a dollar, so I just decided to get it. If, I, if it were more, I probably wouldn't have, but for a dollar, I'll, I'll, I'll take a chance on anything for a dollar. Speaking of, I picked up a comic I've never heard of ever in my life from Boom Studios, 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 Warlords of Appalachia, Appal Appalachia, number one. I have zero idea what this book is about. I've never heard of it, but I thought the cover art was cool. Dude with a bow and arrow, people with guns. I don't know if they're hunting him or what's going on here. I don't know what this is about, but it was a dollar and the cover art alone made me think this looks pretty cool. So for a dollar, I will try it. So yeah, I will let you guys know what that's like. And then, so those were all the dollar books. And then um, while I was there, I took a peek at some of their back issues, their regular back issues, which are $3 a piece, or unless otherwise marked. Uh, so these were all $3 a piece. I looked through their Ghost Rider back issues. The Ghost Rider run from the 90s with Danny Ketch Ghost Rider because I got, if you remember my last pickups video, comic haul video, I got a really nice lot of Ghost Rider comics from eBay, but there were some holes. Well, I filled a lot of those holes. So uh, I picked up Ghost Rider number two, which I didn't have. Uh, Ghost Rider, whoops, uh, Ghost Rider number three, which I also didn't have. Ghost Rider number four. None of these I had. I won't say it every time. I didn't have any of these. So Ghost Rider number four. Ghost Rider number 13. Ghost Rider number 20. Ghost Rider number 23. And um, Ghost Rider number 47. And Ghost Rider number 48. So... The reason I got these ones specifically is because these were all the ones I was missing through like number 50. So I now have uh, from the 90s era, Ghost Riders number one through, actually I think one through 48 and then 50. So I think I'm still missing 49. But I essentially have one through 50 and then a few more peppered from 50 to whatever the end of that run was in the 90s or the 80s I think. So I just thought that was really cool. I was like, hey, let me just see which ones they had because I thought I had seen some in the dollar bin the last time I was there. They weren't there this time. So I looked in the regular back issue section and found a bunch that I needed. So 
Um, those were some good fillers. Um, and I don't know what I don't know why I'm collecting Ghost Rider now, but apparently I am. I sort of fell into it. So that was everything from Infinity Flux on Saturday, and then today on Monday, the tw- January 25th. I'm pretty sure it's the 25th. I might be wrong about that. It's Monday, it, whatever January 20 something, 21, 21, whatever Monday was. So then in the mail uh, from Silver Age on Instagram, he runs uh, claim sales all the time. Uh, he actually just ran one uh, yesterday. I claimed a few more books. Um, and I claim some uh, from the last one he did, so I've, I'll have another stack coming in the mail at some point. But um, I had actually forgotten about these. So this was kind of like Christmas. Um, I had forgotten. So I uh, got from him Amazing Spider-Man number 244, just because I have a really large collection of Amazing Spider-Man. But I've got some holes, and this is going to fill uh, one of those. I picked up Guardians of the Galaxy number 13 sort of on a whim i've never read this series this is from the 90s and um i don't i'm not even really super interested in it but i'm super interested in ghost rider of the future and you know there's some correlation to cosmic ghost rider even though it's not the same character and probably just because it's a ghost rider in space um but I, you know it was it was a good price and he had it once before and it got claimed by somebody else and i felt kind of bad that I didn't get it. So I just I just grabbed it just I, for no other reason just to have it. That's all. Um, I picked up Loki number one. Not as a spec because of the Loki series coming out on Disney+, Plus, but just because I've never read this. I'm not even really the biggest Loki fan um, in the comics. I, he's great in the movies. But I kind of thought this might inform a little bit of what the series might be about. So I thought it might be cool to read this. Maybe if I like it, I can read a few more on the Marvel Unlimited app. And maybe just sort of get an idea about what might happen in the Loki series. There, there might be some references in that um, that come from this. I'm not real sure. But um, I just thought I'd get it uh, just to see um, if it sort of, you know, if, if they lift some story elements from this into the show. And then uh, I got a six issue set because he had all of them. And I just thought, you know what? This would be cool to have and I'm gonna read them at some point. So I got, uh, this is from, I'm not sure what, this is, it's, it's recent. It's fairly recent within the last couple of years at least. Maybe, probably no earlier than 2015, but probably later than that. Uh, the Savage Sword of Conan, uh, Gary Duggan and Ron Garney on art. Gary Duggan wrote it, Ron Garney on art. So Savage Sword of Conan number one. Uh, Savage Sword of Conan number two. Savage Sword of Conan number three. Savage Sword of Conan number four. Savage Sword of Conan number five. And yes, Savage Sword of Conan number six. So he had the whole set there. I think it's the whole set. Um, I don't think it went further than six issues. Um, I might be wrong. Oh, wait. This is a different... Maybe Gary Duggan and Ron Garney didn't do everything? Or maybe they changed... I don't know. Six, six issues of Savage Sword of Conan. I don't think it's still going on. I don't think it went past this. But, you know, I've been on a big Conan kick for a while, even though I've never read a Conan comic. But I do have the Conan original Marvel, Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 1 over there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd pick up some more and eventually I will read them. So guys, that's it. That is everything I picked up uh, over the weekend and from uh, from today, from Instagram. I just want to show them off. So guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you like this video or any of the other videos, consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a sarcastic thumbs up. If nothing else, leave me a comment below let me know what comics you picked up did you find any good uh, dollar bin comics or get anything good from ebay or anywhere um or just leave me a comment about anything about comics i love comics i could talk about them with a room full of people or just to a camera so guys i appreciate you watching and i will see you in the next one Bye bye